Very often, as a sales representative visiting another city, you would want to find your colleagues. To do so, here all you would need to do is say, get employee list and the name of your city. In this case, let's say that you're in Sydney, Australia. So you want to find all of your colleagues in Sydney. Get employee list, Sydney. Wait a minute. And you just confirm that's your, your request. And in just a few minutes, you or a few seconds, you have your list. It provides the name, the city, their title, their phone number, and their phone number of course is clickable, and their email address. In this example, we used city, but this could also be a business unit as well. For this next example, I need to find someone by the name of Allison. I only know her first name, I don't know her last name, and I have just an idea of what she does. But I was given her name to contact for uh, as a subject matter expert. So to find her, I go to Get Employee Details, and I type in Allison. Actually, I could actually just type in the first three letters and it starts to pull everybody by that name. I see two Allisons. I'm not really sure which one. So I'm going to add them both. And then I hit submit and I wait for the result. So here's my information. I see that there's an Allison Mahoney and an Allison Stevenson. But now I have their division and I have who they report to along with their email and their clickable uh, phone number. I know that I was looking for the manager, so Allison Mahoney is the person that I'm looking for. And that's how I find somebody with just a few letters of their name.